Whoa. What are you doing out here, Kevin? All right. This is one of the worst things for me is shipping longtime pets, my babies that I've raised. So I just built, I built some uh, shipping containers here. These animals are so big, they have to go through the airlines and everything can go wrong if you don't put that extra energy, even when you do put the extra energy, things can go wrong once they're out of your hands. These are gonna be shipped across the country. And I gotta make sure they're not too cold, too hot, and that they get to the destination as safe as possible. So I have to build appropriate size containers and I can show you. So this is gonna house either a big black dragon or a big T negative albino. So and then there's a top that goes on there. This is all insulated. Yeah. And uh, then you put this top piece. This takes time. What takes time? To build all this. Oh, stop. Come on, anyone can do this, right? <laughs> Kevin's having a bad week. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a bad life. I'm waiting. I'm waiting till I'm reanimated as an ant. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to ship three very large reptiles to my buddy Mike Holston, the real Tarzan, and he is going to give these animals a fantastic home. They're going to go to Candyland. And that right there is pretty exciting for me. He's gonna use it as ambassadors for the animal world. He'll show people what remarkable animals these are, and it's gonna break my heart a little bit. But we gotta pack these animals into a box like this that I just made yesterday. One more for safety measure. Because what's the worst thing that could happen? Suffocation, overheating. Heat is fatal cold, there's a way better chance they recover. So if an animal gets a chill or actually gets cold to the lower end of its range, it actually can still survive as long as it doesn't have food in its gut. And you bring its temperatures back up, get the immune system going, and uh, a lot of times animals can definitely get through that. I've had uh, snakes basically frozen. I mean, literally probably 30 degrees, a python, and it still came back. We just heated it up slowly, and the animal within days was fine. All right, beast. Come on, baby. Uh -oh. Remember Josh up too. He's gonna go to a good place. That's all I can tell myself. Okay, there you go, baby. Right, his tail's up. Curl it. Okay, all right. He's, his tail's not in here or anything, right? Nope. Pull the other so, tie now. This is the part I... And then pull the other tie. Josh, you don't like it? Yeah. I, I, I can't. Dan's uh, very, very good at packing stuff up. I'm great at building boxes and making sure it's All right. whatever. But this hurts me terribly. Okay. Got some heat packs. Hey, hi buddy, I love you. Right, I'm gonna see you on video. Josh. It's okay, baby. Josh, grab some paper. Yeah. Uh, he packed. I got him, I'm wrapping. <laughs> you just look like you're meant to be in that shirt, dude. <laughs> Take it to hunt. I remember one time Josh washed his shirt. It, yeah. was, it was a day. It was a day, yeah. I took a shower, I brushed my teeth. I think he's. I think he's a clean person. He just looks dirty. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a greasy boy. He's a greasy boy, <laughs> dude. Mike was on the Fresh and Fit podcast. Kevin doesn't even know what that is. Mike's made it, man. He's he's future. Yes. Josh, you know what Fresh and Fit is, right? Fresh and Fit? No, I know Mike though. I know who Mike is. Oh, that angle is. So here we go. <laughs> yeah, probably. He's the black piece. That's what my wife sees. Oh God. Ew. Ew. Yeah. Is the schizo going? He's super friendly. Hi, Jeremy. Hi, Donnie. Hey, Schizo the light's on, I'm sorry. Come on, Schizo. Oh, yay! Why don't we just name him Jelly Bean or something if he's friendly? I don't understand why we keep doing this.
kind of make like a shell and kind of encase everything. What you want to do is you want to nullify a lot of the animal's movements because if you don't give the animal a feeling that there's any chance in getting out, they'll kind of, in theory, go quiet. And what we want to do is we want to keep the stress down as low as possible. Uh, God. Can we edit this video all the crunching paper and stuff and Kevin talking? <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, he's making a break for it. Oh, he's going! Oh, no, this is how it happens! He's going for it! Ah! No! No, 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 baby. I love you. Don't do this. Just go quiet. Just go quiet. Go quiet. Yeah, what's up? Dude, oh, Beast. Oh. How much do we feed this thing? Dude, get it together. I'm, like, having zero problems. Why do you get that paper? Pack it in. Pack the oh. Same way. Just oh, right. The monitors. <laughs> yeah. I just thought Kevin might want to draw. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna get bored in the way. Pencils and. <laughs> yeah. So this this is a big snake, and she's a wonderful snake. No food in her gut, no matter what. You do not ship a big snake like this with a, a meal that is metabolizing and digesting. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> We're at Kevin's other mansion. This is a mansion property. He lives in this entire house. Don't tell my boss. <laughs> Value pack. I'm looking at my Dude, what is that? I can't it's a Lunchable. <laughs> is it? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like cat shit. No, it's a Lunchable. What? I said, what is this? Shut the f*** up, you f***ing <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> f***ing, go eat some f***ing filth and swill. You I Oh, Chef boy, I'll have Taco G. Bell, and I'm gonna f***ing munch it down. You are ridiculous. Not in my building, you're not. Yes, it is. Right you're fired, sir. I only have vegetarians in my building. I gotta turn my camera on, dude. You didn't turn your camera on!